Evangelical Christians are forced out of their homes and communities. Churches are destroyed. Christians are beaten. But why? Why is there such intense anger and hostility against these followers of Jesus in Chiapas? We believe the reason for this is the growth of the gospel, specifically in the indigenous areas. In these cultural areas, the response is immediate to put a stop to the growth of the gospel. In Mitzitone, a town of 1500, located in the municipality of San Cristobal, there is a significant and growing evangelical presence. Just living in the community has not been accepted by the Zapatistas. The Zapatistas were a Marxist revolutionary group that controls a number of rural indigenous regions in Chiapas. The group strongly opposes the gospel because it conflicts with its ideology. One of the reasons for the hostility towards evangelicals is because many of them are opposed to contributing money to pay for traditionalist festivals, which blend ancient Mayan rituals with Catholicism. These festivals, which include traditionalist versions of major Christian feasts like Christmas and Easter, also often promote drunkenness throughout the villages. Antonio Perez assesses the damage of the Prince of Peace Pentecostal Church in Nichique, Sinecatan. Antonio, the caretaker of the church building and father of 11 children, was still recovering from a mob attack that nearly claimed his life the night the church was burned. Antonio and his young son, along with an evangelical Christian who works with him, Marino Perez, were returning home from San Cristobal. Joel Escobar, who is with an evangelistic organization that works with persecuted Christians, tells us what happened next. The highway was blocked. There was a mob there, and they identified them as evangelicals. Someone shouted, the evangelicals were coming back. So they hauled them out of the car and started to beat them. After the brutal beating by the traditionalists, the Christians were taken to the police station for five hours and beaten again. Antonio nearly died from his injuries. Marino had his head shaved to humiliate him and was forced to sign a document that he would participate and contribute to the cost of religious festivals. During the attack, Antonio's 10-year-old son, Eliseo, was also injured. I saw a lot of people and they were wearing masks. And they attacked the car, they got my father out of the car and they were throwing rocks and one of the rocks hit me in the arm. I was afraid, and I just sat in the car until I had a chance to get out and run. Eliseo was able to escape and says he's no longer afraid. I'm a soldier for Christ, and I'm not afraid. The Bible tells us not to be afraid and that God will be with us in the middle of the storm, and we can trust him. Oscar Moe, the voice of the martyrs in Mexico, says instead of seeing the gospel being pushed out of areas where there is persecution, the opposite has happened. The church is growing. There has been an explosion of church growth and the faith of the people passing through persecution has been strengthened.